I love Keisha, but she's crazy. At some times, you know, she could be uh, a Hannibal. She act out of rage, and I don't like it. But at the same time, I just deal with it because I want to be with her. When Keisha get mad, it's like mm, the end of the world. Veins get to popping out her neck. She get to acting like a wild dog. One day I was at work minding my business, and you know she pulled up at my job, going crazy. I jumped in my security car, and when I jumped in my security car, she got to follow me and chasing me and going crazy. We went around there like a track. I'm on you, bitch! You get fired today, bitch! <laughs> Don't hit the pedestrian security! She was driving on one hand, and she was sitting there just throwing the eggs, candy, and soda at me. I couldn't escape her, so I had to leave my car and jump over a gate and run. She had the nerve to call my boss, and you know, and she told my boss that uh, I hit her car which I didn't hit her car at all. And, you know, she painted that picture and all that, and then I ended up getting fired. Keisha did not trust me. She accused me of moving in, living with somebody else during our relationship. She had the nerve to stake out another woman's house. She sat in her car every day for a week, right after she got off of work, for two hours. It makes me feel like uh, a bad person. I would never cheat on her, honestly. I love her, but at the same time, I feel like we're toxic together. I want her to be tested too, because during one of our breakups, she said uh, she uh, dry humped this man's leg. And honestly, yes, I was hurt, but at the end of the day, I hope that she passed her test, because I know I passed mine. Did you really chase down your boyfriend? Hell yeah, yes. I did. I was hurt that he did whatever he did to me, and I found out about it in that way. Cause I had gave him so many opportunities to be honest with me, and he never did it. And were you throwing eggs? I threw and eggs. Soda? I threw ravioli. I threw shrimp because he told me he was allergic, and I just, you know. You threw shrimp because he told you. He, he was told allergic me that to... he he not allergic, but he don't like seafood. So I was just like, give me the shrimp. Did you go shopping for all this? Yeah, I had <laughs> came from the grocery store, and everything was just happening so fast. I'm like, what can I? How can I stop him and slow him down from running from me? Yeah. And I figured if I knock him off of it or, you know, do something to make him stop, then he, he can stop and we yeah. can, I can get the answers that now, I'm looking for. if you were throwing, like, Chef Bardee ravioli, <laughs> I mean, I would one. stop because that's the best ravioli in the world. I was mad that I had to throw it. Yeah. Um, tell me how this all gets started with Taylor. Well, we met roughly in 2021. Um, I was fresh out of a relationship. I'm bisexual, by the way. So, I, so my, a relationship with a woman you're yeah. coming out of. Yeah, and um, that was a relationship I took seriously. I even proposed to my ex and all of that. It just didn't go right. Um, and because of that, I removed myself from her. I didn't get closure. I just filled that void with him. He, he was watching was, Would you say he's a rebound? I wouldn't say that, but when I met him, my feelings wasn't involved. Right. It wasn't, and I was It was more I, of a casual thing. It was more of a, a um, I was filling a void, basically. Okay. I, I didn't get the closure. I was just going through what I was going through. And he was viewing it on my social media. So he would jump in my DMs, like, you know, I don't deserve that. And he just saying all the right things. And that's what got me about him. He wasn't my type. I never dated anybody like him before. So when he was saying it to me, I felt he was being genuine. You know, along the way, I did develop feelings for him. You know, after he relocated and showed me that, you know, he was willing to take all of these, he was willing to relocate and be with me and my kids. And, you know, I grew feelings for him within that. But I was honest with him in the beginning, and I told him I was still attached to this person that I was with before you. Everything was just happening so fast. And, you know, I was just trying to be honest with him. And that's... So you, did you think he, like, resented that? that he definitely to... changed after I was honest with him about it. Okay. And is that the car chase that we saw on the tape? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous, though. Really, we were, like, joking about it, but, like... I wasn't I yeah. wasn't in my right mind. I was more of an angry... You but... were in a car, and he was looked like some kind of, like, Jeep or something. Yeah, he was in, like, one of his security... One of the security carts that they had him, you know, patrolling the parking lot with. Thing. Did he lose his job because of this? Definitely. I, what got him fired was me reaching out to his boss. And I, I, I basically lied. I'm not going to lie. I lied, and I pretended that we <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I lied. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I lied, and I, I pretended that we never even knew each other before this altercation. So what did you tell his boss? I told his boss that he hit my car and that I wanted him to be fired. And the, how I got his phone is because he ran from me after he hit my car. And 
he fired him. And I like, I can't imagine other than sleep that I want to do anything for six hours, let alone trying to find, you know, stuff on somebody. Six hours straight looking at his phone? I had to, I had to get the tea. What'd you find? The tea. It was hot too. It was, it was like at, when I was How'd done, you get his phone for six hours? Most people, six minutes they couldn't live without their phone. He ran from me with the phone too. Yeah. I found him in my neighbor's closet trying to reset the phone. And I ran up in my neighbor's house and that's when I heard him falling and stumbling in the closet. And when he came out, the phone was coming back on like he resetted the phone. But me being an investigator that I am, I already knew how to get it back. So I'm letting him think that he, he got a one up on me with the phone and I, I'm not gonna see anything. So, so he thought that's why he He thought he was the in the clear, yeah. yeah. So that's why he gave me the phone. But before that, he, he breaks phones. So this particular day, he thought he was in the clear because he, he was able to reset it. So he gave me the phone. I immediately leave and goes through the phone. I back the phone up. It reveals everything that he tried to delete. Messages, sex tapes with his exes. Did you um, watch the sex tapes? I definitely did because I just, I just wanted to know was he but having wasn't sex. Wasn't it hard to watch the person that Well, at first, I didn't know it was his exes. I yeah. thought it was like, you know, when he when he cheated, this is the video he recorded, oh, you know? Okay. And then I'm viewing and I'm like, you having sex raw, I'm having sex with you raw, you know? So my, my emotions was high because you're the only person I'm dealing with. And do you cheat on him? I didn't cheat on him. Never? Never cheated on him. It was up until he cheated on me that I had my first interaction with another male outside of him. And I couldn't even... But were you together with him when you had the interaction? He had came back after cheating. This is right after he got oh, back. Oh, so, but you then went with another I man. then went and was trying to make myself feel better about the situation. But it didn't make you feel better. It did not make me feel better, and I had to stop it before we got to the sexual part. The most we did... Oh, did you the dude? I didn't him, but we were in did the you room. Him? <laughs> I'm going to say... Uh, grinding. That's the word I would you use. Like we're him. we're he's on top of me. We're 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 trying to get in the mood to do what we're doing, but we're fully clothed. I'm still fully clothed. He's still fully clothed. I'm we're laying just... on a bed. You're fully clothed. Yeah. What stopped the humping? My <laughs> my conscience is what got to me. So you at one point you said because again a, that's enough. I let him come back. So you know I was still I, I still wanted to be with him even after he cheated on me. I still felt like that wasn't enough. For us to be just like, or for me to be just like, you know what, I'm done. You young, we make mistakes. What's this about you staking out another woman's house? Oh, I definitely did that, cause <laughs> I had to know. I, 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 what I did was I, when I was investigating through the phone, I backed up the Google Is map. Is that what you do for a living? Are you an investigator? <laughs> <laughs> I got four kids at home. That's... <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in my phone, but not investigating. Like, this is the first relationship I had to investigate. Right. So it, this is all new for me. So you're, you're staking out the woman. I'm staking... Oh, I backed up the Google Maps on the phone. And when I backed up the Google Maps, the address repeatedly, the time of being there, how long he was there, everything is there. So in my head, this is where his ex or the person he cheated on me with lives. So that's where the, the stakeout came from. And how long would you from. stay on stakeout for? I, like he said, I'm getting out of, off of work and I'm going straight to this address every day. For how long? I went three days in a row. For how many hours? Two hours. Oh, that's not bad. And I'm sitting there and as I'm sitting there, I'm approaching all the people that's walking past and stuff like that with my phone. Like, have you seen this man up in here? Have you seen him in any apartments up in here? Like, have you ever seen him? And, and they're like, like, they're like, no, I've no, never seen no, him no. before, this, that, and the third. And it wasn't, it wasn't until that third day where I felt like, you know, at this point, maybe he switched up. And, and nobody called the police on you? No. You, I'm sure you could have a million guys or a million women. Why, you know, why would you be so focused on this guy? And, and, and I'm not trying to make you mad or insult you, but why act so crazy when you obviously could snap your fingers and, and have anybody you want? Because how you view me is not how I view me. And you don't view yourself as beautiful? No, because everybody that I'm trying to be with is cheating on me. They're hurting me. They're trying to find some way to hurt me, regardless of me being genuine to them and but you trying to want... be nice to them uh, and trying to show them that I care about and them. And I don't think it's a you thing. I'm not getting I it. I think it's a young man thing. It is, a, 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 I think cheating when you guys are young, it's an immaturity thing and the hormones are just flowing and, it, it, you know, it's, it's very difficult for guys to behave 
in a in a decent manner is what I'm saying. Right. And I'm not forgiving them. I'm saying it's wrong. But let me tell you something. I'm not wrong when I say you're a beautiful woman. Thank when you. I'm talking to you, you're obviously you're obviously an intelligent woman, and you know you have skills of where you can break into phones and <laughs> you're, you're no dummy. You know what I'm saying? So. When you leave the show, you need to look in the mirror and say, I'm too good to waste time on anybody. Right. I went through that phone for six hours. From the beginning of our relationship, you already were hitting females up, trying to have sexual encounters with them. And you wouldn't talk to none of your exes? I was. But was I not honest with you about it? Girl, that's the difference between me and you. Lot. You never you was, was honest okay. with me about none of, none of your situations. I was with you for a year and a half, and I cannot say I know you. Okay. Do you fool around on her? No. You lying? He's still lying. You still lying. Can you just admit the fact that you stopped caring after I was honest with you about this girl? Keep it 100 with you? Yes, yeah, she know I have cheated on her. When she sit there and she went through the phone. But you drove me to go cheat huh? by telling me about this girl. When I'm telling I'm you sharing. about this girl. In my head, I didn't even think it was going to affect you it like that. It doesn't matter. I'm not sharing. Because you cannot compete where you don't compare. You don't have It doesn't matter. I'm okay. not sharing. Do you okay. want me to lie uh, to you? Because so, you know, know, you're in this relationship. I don't know what and, you want from me. Like, you know, we're kind of laughing about it, but, like, you know, we watched a car chase scene. Yeah. What was that like for you? Whew. It was off the chain. Because I'm sitting there at my lunch break. All I hear is, see her. And I, I, I put my foot on the gas and got the yeah. moving around. What was that care. you were driving? Oh, the golf cart. The oh, security golf, golf cart. cart. Yeah. yeah. Running from me. And, and, and Running from she me. She got the chasing of, me, going uh, crazy, throwing eggs, all <laughs> ravioli cans. You're right. You, when, I, when I pulled so in that what, parking so lot, what? you was in the back on your so, phone. You wasn't working. On my, my break. I'm on my break. Right after that, I left. I went back to uh, the security office. I sat in there. I get a call from one of uh, my friends that's there, sit there and tell me, oh, she came back again. And did they, did then they, she called my boss. You worried about? She right. She called how my you boss. How you look at work? Lit a lie. Not how you look to me, fired. but how you look at work. So they fired you. Yes, they fired me. And how did you feel about that? I, I'll do that again. I was too. mad. Yeah. Keisha, you were asked, other than the former coworker that Taylor is aware of, during the course of your relationship with Taylor, have you engaged in any physical sexual activities with any other man? You answered no. During your relationship with Taylor, have you engaged in any sexual intercourse? with any other man? You answered no. Uh, the results came back the same to both questions, and it came back that Keisha told the truth. How stupid do you feel? How, ain't no clapping. Bitch, ain't no clapping. Ain't no clapping. Huh? How stupid do you feel, though? How stupid do you feel? You put me through all these Okay. All these And this is what I did with that home. It don't matter, He do not care. It don't care. You do the you extra. Do I'm not finna fight I'm with you. I'm finna do the extra. Okay, do the extra. I'm finna do the extra. Because you don't care. Let me ask you this. I told you the extra. Let me ask you this. I'm not finna fight with you. You're a female at the end of the day. Hold on. Hold oh, on. but you, you, you. Hold, okay, hold on. If okay. you know he doesn't care. My I, kids is the only reason yeah, why I'm dealing you, with him. Yeah, but you, come on. If he doesn't care about because you. Because of what I'm going through mentally, it's the only reason why I deal with him. And he's taking advantage of me. And then he's sitting right here acting like it don't bother him. Then end it. And I got two. I got two. Taylor Cameron took a lie detector test. He admitted to having sex with two other women while in a relationship two? with Keisha. You had... Oh, but you had sex with two? You told me one. Yeah. Whatever. I only knew about one. Whatever. You had sex with two? Yeah. Oh, my. oh it Dur was two more to the one I knew about. During your breakup with Keisha, Ooh. did you live with the woman she suspected? He said yes. He told the truth. During your relationship with yeah. Keisha, did you engage in sexual intercourse with an ex-girlfriend? Uh, he answered no. He did not tell the truth. Yeah, I promise you, I'm During your relationship with Keisha, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other women? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Yeah. Other than the one woman that Keisha knew of and the two other women that you confessed to during your relationship now. with Keisha, have you engaged in any physical activities with any other woman? He answered no, and he did not tell the truth. You're young. You're both. You're both attractive people. You you just go through people. Everybody does until you find the right one. <laughs> For both of you, this is not the right one. Not even close. So the best thing you could do is grab your move out and move on.
I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's gonna watch this and say, you know what, she was brave enough to do that, I can do that too.